Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here to Roma, Texas, home of his area championship. Now, this is one where Laredo Martin and Brownsville Lopez going to try to find their way into the next round. And, you know, both these teams have worked diligently to get to this point here tonight, but it will only be one of them that can come out here victorious. And, you know, long season for both these two teams. You understood that this is what all that training has been here tonight. All those miles, all those hours put into the workroom. And, you know, this is kind of where you have to see who's going to be able to come out and really dominate this first half. And, you know, you're looking for some great pressure. We're going to have to see how the strikers here for both these squads really use their speed, use their aggression. More important, use their skill to go try to beat this back line. And, this is, this is going to be interesting one. We haven't been able to commentate these two teams before, and this is a game where it's really going to be one where someone's going to have to come and step up. And you're saying, Eric, of course, that's, that's, that's kind of where this ball game kind of transfers. But you know, this is kind of how Brownsville Lopez throughout the season, they, they've done a good job of just being able to be a team to come back from big games and, more importantly, not allow for themselves to – a lot for deficits to stay too long. You know, the squad has been tested throughout the year. They feel that they have the players to really make that next jump, especially when you're looking into the playoffs. And, you know, well, the boys in red here for Laredo Martin trying to see red here tonight on the home field of Roma. And this is kind of where Laredo Martin, both these teams traveling quite a ways to get here. But all tensions are in the air. As fans trying to see if they can get their boys into the right position, and especially the headspace, you have to see how the mentality is. For, for a lot of teams coming into a playoff, experience really shows you on how this squad is going to get going. You, you want to make sure you have that reliability of being able to go into that back pocket saying, hey, I got my seniors here, my juniors who've been here before. They know how to really push us into the promised land. They're not going to let our boys be rattled. But... 40 minutes here for the first half. 80 total will be played here tonight. And, you know, here for the Brownsville Lopez. I, I really am interested to see how they're going to stretch the field here. They're going to have to be creative, allow for the passing to be spot on, and you know, allow for themselves to control possession as time is going to be one of the most crucial, uh, crucial aspects here today. And, you know, for a game that I feel may be a 2 1 victory. Do I know who's going to take this victory? I, that's, that's when we're on the drive over here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I was looking at some of the stats. I was looking over some of the uh, the analytics that was given to me, and I, I couldn't really come up. And a, a lot of it is due to uh, we haven't seen these teams before. I always like giving teams the benefit on the doubt. You know, on paper, it could be one thing, but once you hit that field, once you line up against the other, that is when things get interesting. But waiting for the head referee to make his way to center field and you know coming in here you really have to also see how well this Martin team is going to be able to react if some adversity comes in we know both teams ha have a lot of speed on their hands and you know for them it's going to be able to come up find ways to wake up quickly this is what they've been working for all season long all those hours we're talking about this is what these coaches have been preaching and Beforehand, just watching out, looking over, and seeing just the demeanor of both these teams. Of course, a little nerves, but action finally kicked off. The show will go on, and it will start here in Roma, Texas. You know, and, and you know, control the pace, not allowing yourself to lose some possession. That one will be taken away. It goes out of bounds. Will just be a throw-in. Good job there, taking the ball quickly, but just couldn't find a way to hit the pass. And that's for Brownsville Lopez. Have to find ways to get into your playmaker's feet. And this one will be put center. A little mishandle there by the captain. Will not be able to get too much going. And the front line trying to find a way to get through here for Brownsville Lopez. And some early action will start things going. Yeah, and as you see this team trying to beat that back line. This one will be kept up. Goalie coming out of the box. And no good awareness from him. Now just going to try to see if he can... Reset this team here. Will Lex for a kick. And it will be taken away quickly here. The shot right back on target. Almost mishandled. Yeah, well, one opportunity. You know, a minute and a half already. Or 60 seconds already off the board here. And you know, for Martin. Early first 60 seconds. We're in your back line. And you know this team. Can't be put onto their back heels 
throughout the day. I understand you don't want to try to overexert yourself, but you know, Brownsville Lopez is the team that's going to take advantage of opportunities, and especially mistakes, and you know, here at the, vars at the varsity level. This is one where the soccer IQ from both these two teams, especially in this area matchup, is one where you know, some of the best here in the Rio Grande Valley, especially in the state of Texas, really see themselves matching up. And both these squads, when you look at them on paper, especially the way they have those playoff aspirations, you know, they want to make big things happen for themselves. And it's going to be one of those games where you're going to have to just say, no matter how this game keeps trucking on, you just can't put your head down. And, you know, it's so easy, especially after one goal comes in, depending if it comes in early. That's where teams feel they start being desperate. You know, for both these squads, being able to take advantage of this nil-nil scoreline right now, especially coming into this first half. As for ladies and gentlemen, 40 minutes here in the first half. We will go to a quick break, and we'll go back to the second half, which will be another 40 minutes. And Depending on that, we will go to extra time, but this one will just be put on to the back line here. Laredo Martin is going to take this, and he's getting, getting that ball out of position quickly. You know, not want to really dilly-dally, but will just be a throw in here near 25. And, you know, for Laredo Martin, for this team, you're, you're seeing them with that sense of urgency. I'll just continue to try and attack. This might be their best move yet, but we'll just be poked away to lose. That good pa patience there. By the middle defender, you know, he, he saw it. The center back just was able to get his foot in. And, you know, this is now for Brownsville Lopez. They continue to keep this team and right on their back heels. And, oh, well, Radel Martin right now. It, it's, it's, it's surprising, you know, this, this team has been known to score many goals this season. Has really come in and used the advantage of the striker. This one poked away loose. It is a windy day here, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, they're taking advantage of it. Look for a little more zip on the ball, especially on the back end. And that's where Brown also has the advantage there. Wind blowing into the net. A Laredo Martin, but a little Martin. No luck, all finesse for them. And a good job, good beat. And you see them just trying to attack the outsides. Use the length of the field here. This will just be poked out. Will stay for Laredo Martin ball. A good throw and just kept right back in. And that's, that's a good job there for the awareness of the center back. Just saw where it will be placed. Wants to take possession. But this is where LeBron Lopez an even better job of just finding ways to just keep things out of their territory. I mean, for a team that understands that once Rado Martin kind of has a foothold into their back line, especially once you start letting their skilled players start connecting with one, one another, we're looking at the passing drills just beforehand. Like, it's so smooth, both these two teams are. The finesse. Good heel kick. We'll just keep that one up. Rado Martin, this defense, a little stoppage of time there. Yeah, no card coming out. I think it was just a warning. I think it may have just, unfortunately, our eyes went off that. We were not able to capture what happened there. And we're saying how this is going to be an aggressive game. You never want any injuries to potentially happen. But, you know, it's all in the sport. That's Brownsville Lopez. In the first six minutes, trying to see if they get their first goal. Another good job there by the goalie. Yeah, shelling up right on. Saw tons of white jerseys near him. This one just will be kicked out. Good long clear. Will be taken right away as a possession. It's just been all Brownsville Lopez. It feels like Laredo Martin has the ball here. You, you see them just trying to get small touches, keep the ball close to him, and really allow for himself to just keep that big body of that defender off of him. And, Oh, you're seeing them continue to find some space as that's going to be the first goal here. The Lobos from outside the box able to strike first. Yeah, what a goal there. Underneath the top crossbar, found a beautiful finish. And now the Lobos going to try to ride this momentum. 
know, right? This momentum, uh, it's, it's kind of where now you feel like this team has settled in. We, we said it was going to be a 2-1 score line. First one coming in early. You know, so much time left to the game. This is where Laredo Martin can't panic, but you, you can also kind of let the game get out of hand. Second, third goal here be really detrimental for your team. Good clear. Go be kept possession. Good touch on the outside. Looking for the cross here. Yeah, and a good move. Just finding some more space. And this is where this team has just been given those type of opportunities. So that one just missed slightly wide. Maybe that was number 11. Ramon Zuniga Jr. They have another striker attacking midfield. We're going to see how they continue utilizing him. This is, this is where Laredo gets to this first goal. You, you see them just having trouble really keeping these players at bay here for the boys in wise they're looking to get themselves a clean victory here tonight will not be able to get the through pass good defense as whistles coming in yeah nothing malicious there just you know winning for the tackle Rotate, went for the challenge and was able to get the ball loose maybe just hit a bit shit that's where you have the shit guards out there young man thankfully he's okay yeah, he's waddling off a bit this is where the, we always have to give homage to these soccer players. Be able to come out here and continue running. It's, it, it's so much strain on the body. and you know, Coming in playing such a physical sport, or it can be physical, as much as the narrative may say otherwise. It, it's one where these athletes are really put to the fullest. It's a good job. We'll be able to clear this one. But unfortunately, there for Zuniga. Two men on him. Had an opportunity. Some good finesse there. Take it away. Yeah, you're seeing Laredo Martin now. Starting to find their own, but this defense is just not giving in. As a goalie way outside the goal, we'll need to just retreat back as the shot on will just be wide of the net there. Yeah, you have to give it up to him. Just, just going for that shot, just trying it either way. And, you know, felt, hey, why not go, go for broke? Nothing to lose here, especially when we're up 0-1. Oh, and, you know, Brownsville Lopez. Both these teams taking quite a ways to get here. There's the boys in white trying to see if they can find their second goal. Yeah, you did a great job here by the Reno Martin. And I, the one thing I, I've been talking about them, or the one thing I've been noticing, is the way they've been able to slowly start getting adjusted to this defense of how they're playing in the scheme here for Brownsville Lopez. Good job there concealing. This one will be poked loose. And it will just be a throw in here. Yeah, this is the closest throw they've had near the net for Brownsville Lopez. And you know, for Laredo Martin, that's where you have to say we're not going to flinch. A goal here will be huge. Hey, we're always here for the dramatic. It's a 2 1 game. We said it. You know, if this game kind of gets to a point where we both see goals early, I'm fine, or at least in this first half. Good touch there. All the races, one man to beat. As a big shot won't be able to go. Yeah, Jonathan Gomez, the sophomore, and that's one where you no know, felt that he may have been able to sneak it past him, but you no, know, he only had one man, uh, one man to be at the end there. Felt it, he potentially could have tried him, but you know, that's what we're talking about the soccer IQ. Just trying to keep putting, putting pressure onto this team. This one will just go out of play. And Brownsville Lopez in a game where there's question marks on how this team would be able to start off in. They're showing. They're taking no prisoners here tonight. This one will go for a corner here. And the first corner of the evening. This could be big. And when you're looking at opportunities to potentially set yourself even more big, a little chip there. Want to keep possession near the net. This one put it right back in. Will not be able to go. Yeah, good defense. Nine times out of ten, you see teams score from this distance. 
And this one will continue staying in play. And that's going to be a quick stoppage. Yeah, there was a player on the field there quite a bit. You saw him looking and asking for a switch. And that's unfortunate to lose one of your starters here early. It's, it's going to be tough for this coach. But potentially when you still feel that you can make into next week, you don't want to be able to push them too much. And, you know, and you know, especially here in a playoff match and for, for a young player, I believe that was Jonathan Gomez. We'll have the trainer come next to him, go check him out, but a little stoppage on the field. And to lose, like we we're saying, like one of your starters out. It's always one of those aspects where now you just kind of have to just say, hey, you should step up here when you look onto this bench. But it will be number nine in Jesus Hernandez, the senior forward. Can he get his opportunity here tonight? And this is where the senior, hey, you had one man down. Now it's time for you to step up. Yeah, see if we can get a potential number on that, the man walking off the field. And, and, and you know, slightly lipping, but all smiles. Nonetheless, number 18. Unfortunately, we do not have a name here. You know, starting for this game, just going to see what he potentially can get. You know, here for the real team. I believe that is Diego Guerra. The reason we're saying that we do see some parents talking and when they get it a last name there. Well, sometimes teams, depending on the jersey, may have different numbers. And this one, yeah, yeah, he just got kicked in the arm. That's uh, oh, and I believe that is a senior in Jesus Hernandez. Yeah, Hernandez just got his whale in the side of the arm there. And well, welcome to playoffs. We're gonna play all soccer there. The senior's gonna just trot back into the spot and. Saying, God, I, I didn't want to take beatings out here. So this huge shot, that one. We'll just go over the net. The power coming out from that leg, and you know we, we've seen a lot of great individuals, especially that one goal that we saw early on. And, how special potentially these players can do him be. But for Laredo Martin, you see that clock slowly start to dwindle. 27 minutes remaining here in the first half of action. It's a good poke away. We'll keep a one on three. This one won't be able to go. Good defense here by Laredo Martin. Yeah, great job there by the boys in red. You know, he, he felt that was one of the best touches or best, the second best opportunity we've seen. Little Martin. Try and keep possession of this ball. Was well, number seven with it. And a good little, little side touch there to get past his man. But, you know, found himself with a lot of open space. But the defense just kept right back onto him. This one will be taken away. The challenge becomes fruitful. As Gomez taking it near the side. Man, Gomez fighting for that ball here. You can find a way to get a cross going, potentially set his teammate up, but a good job there by the defender. He's poking away. And this is where this back line, they've been tested here today. They've had a challenging afternoon. This one will be called here by the line judge. Yeah, good awareness. You saw everybody there for Brown Lopez had a hand up saying, hey, hey ref, it's our possession here. This one, Reynolds Martin will take. Rado Martin, I like the way they've been able to control pace, but to control field position hasn't been something that they've been able to be privy to. A good spin move, open things up. A little scuffle for the ball will be able to be loose. As Gomez going to take his time with it. And a good back pass there. You see some good control here by Ronzo Lopez. and they're, they're dialing things up. They're not trying to do too much here. As Uniga on net will be able to be stopped. Good shot. Even better block by the goalie. Yeah, good position there by the goalie. 
just saw himself in prime real estate. Told him no. Tell him to come go, get back where they're coming from. Don't come again. But this is where Brownsville Lopez is going to continue knocking at the door. And you know, Brownsville Lopez, you have to really get up to this team and you know, the game plan for themselves coming in. This looked like a confident bunch before this game started. It's a tight knit unit, but still trying to find their way into a victory. One more goal can help secure that. Yeah, one goal is not going to stand here, especially in playoff soccer. And you know, we've seen a lot of good teams over this over the year, and coming here two of the best in their districts. A good touch. Try and continue finding a way through. As Brownsville Lopez slightly struggling. But we'll take advantage once again. Had a beautiful through pass for himself. We'll just be taken off. And you know, the awareness for him seeing that open field, the good eye will just go out on the Lobos. Yeah, Jonathan Gomez there. Attacking midfield with sophomore gang. Some valuable experience here. And with him still going to be representing the all white kits for the next two years. You know, he's going to want to try to get back to his position. But, you know, this team trying to make it to the third round. We are in the area championship. And looks like we will have the starter come right back onto the field. Yeah, thankfully, he's okay. Got checked out by the trainer. Now you're feeling with Diego Guerra back in the mix. Things continue to start going. That one will be set out of bounds. That's going to go for a corner. And then Guerra will be going to take it. Yeah, Guerra now. Last time we saw a corner, they kept. They wanted to stay with the possessional. Looks like they have no one around, no one in sight. Now, now they have one man just jogging in. You know, this team, they didn't go for the cross early. But look for them. They have some height advantage here. They will keep this one low. Yeah, you know, they, they didn't. I like to go for the header. We are talking about how you know, this team, similar to a couple of inches more in height, this one will go out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. 22 minutes still coming on. You know, getting close to halftime here in the first half. And, it was just that dominant spark there by Brownsville that really gave them this type of control. And ever since then, they've done a good job of not putting themselves in positions to especially get hurt. The counterattack so far has just been really warded away. And that's something that we were curious to see really transpire was how well was this Brownsville Lobo squad going to be able to go back when the speed of Laredo Martin started to really come into effect. And oh, this is round number two of the playoffs. Yeah, we thought that one's going to be able to, but that one will look to have a different opportunity. That's the Lobos. Feeling strong, feeling heavy in this one. So that will be a hand touch. We'll just go back. Yeah, it's just an unfortunate error. That's not, not one you can really do much about. Just got onto his body a little, a little weird, a little awkward. And so we're bound to up have to do what they've been able to do so far. And that's been able to utilize these good field positions to find ways to score. And you saw him, the, the last goal they got was outside the box. Just came into a good spot. And this one, a little chip pass. We'll be able to go as will not be on target. Yeah, it's a bit tough to see. You, know, you, you saw him put his head down. You, he had it there. But this is where you just have to say we have goldfish mentality. You can continue shooting, not worry about the extra. Just worry about what you can control. And there's 20 minutes remaining here in the first half. Good job trying to get past this man. Whistle will be called. No car coming out. Yeah, that's where you have to say have a flare. Yeah, you see the captain there for a little more. Say, hey, he was still going down the field. I'm, I'm not gonna play local stops us. He seems to continue going. Might give him free range potentially get what he wants. The long shot will just go over the goalpost. That's the 
is going to be the kick in here from the goalie. And see what they elect to. You know, Laredo has, I'm sorry, Brownsville has done a good job here just electing to continue off of possession. This is kind of where maybe they might just give it on to one of their back lines. Nope. Sign just get us right back onto the opposition half. That's a smart move, especially for how dominant they've been in, in terms of possession here. You know, they want to continue keeping this team in red in their back heels and Laredo Martin right now. Trying to do anything they can to eventually break through. Get past their mid. A little scuffle will be able to get past one. As the Lobos methodically dishing and dicing through. Yeah, good opportunity there, but the defense not fooled. Got right into the face of where they needed to be. Brownsville Lopez, what to say here? That half is that one. Close to a card, won't get pulled down. And you see the fans are asking for it. That's where, you know, in these area championships, tempers can get high. That's where you have to just say, hey, no matter what they come out, come out to us. Championship mentality, keep it on the field. And allow ourselves to win minute by win it. A good touch there. We'll leave this one for a good clear. And that one just might fall out of bounds for a throw in here. And you know, that's exactly what it's going to be. As Brownsville Lopez... Trying to mount a fruitful attack. Yeah, if they can go in 2-0 at half. You know, the, the game plan now for this coach just becomes so much simpler. You, you, you see yourself potentially just having such more of an easier time controlling ball, controlling pace, and more importantly, finding ways to get into the head here of Laredo Martin because, you know, as this clock continues on, it just becomes a doomsday clock where you slowly start seeing the, the time tick away. Good touch there, taken off. Brownsville Lopez. All right, continue on. Who's for pastor? You know, I wish we had a clock here to do the time of possession here. It's, it's astronomical. Oh, on the midfielder there. You saw him. Unfortunately, we couldn't see the number. Yeah, the shot just overran it. And that's kind of where you know, he's trying to play fast in these situations, trying to get to, the, to his spot as quick as possible. But, you know, a second later? Especially has a wide open net to put it for number two. Laredo Martin trying to get number one here. And this one is headed out. We'll continue on. And Laredo Martin will take off possession. And this is where you've seen them just continue losing the ball. And you know, it's been a great help defense by this squad here for Brownsville to a point where you know, they haven't been able to get anything going. No breathing room really in here for the boys in red and it's starting to get a bit frustrating for them as you see them just trying to continue breaking through this white ball as Brownsville Lobos good slide tackle all the races no one back in net and the potential injury yeah I think ah, it's when he went down unfortunately for him he, he did see him he see, see himself kind of quite a spill we saw it on our screen here right when it happened he may have just hyper extended that ankle to you know, he's walking on it that's that's the one positive that you can potentially take away here 16 29 remaining in the game and I think he's gonna stay in there they're not gonna potentially stop this game at all come through we'll just go back in for a throw in but this time we will be for Brownsville Lopez no Brownsville Lopez now in the midst of adversity have seen yourself really coming to your own but 15 and a half minutes remaining you're trying to take a decisive lead good touch and you see the forward pass just 
beautiful opportunity. Just defenders sniffing it out right away. The goalie will just look for a kick here, trying to push this right back onto the half of Brownsville. No Riddle Martin. For them, it, you've seen them go to that one, two, back to one. But it's the defense with some really great communication. And you're seeing it here. You're, you're seeing the body language. The stop, go. I got him. Let, let him come in. And let him continue on to that corner. And we will see a corner here for Laredo Martin. One of their best opportunities so far. And for Laredo Martin. To find a way to score here. Allow this game to run into the back end of the minutes where you're the one trying to play catch up. Go into half, try to find a way. But easier said than done here. This one will be kept out in bounds as the Brownsville Lobos try and continue striking fear into the defense. Yeah, this back line's having a day here tonight. And for them, they're getting. Their money's worth there. And you know, this is kind of where they, they've done a good job with a good fake there. We'll just go out of bounds. Almost trying to hit his man. And that was that was a great opportunity. Just letting that ball go, knowing his man was going to go up. If he gets a lick of that, I don't believe there's anyone with him for at least 20, 30 yards. And you know, find his way to track a, a field and potentially find a man open. Has not been too apparent so far as Brownsville Lopez has done a good job of just closing down gaps. And finding ways keep this offense in front of them. And that's the one thing. They, they've done a good job, even with their speed. The fundamentals from them have been really one to watch as Gomez just going to kick that one out of play. Gonzalo Lopez trying to mount a scary attack. We'll continue on with possession here as whistles call. Oh, interesting whistles call. I wonder what happened. Will it just be a throw for the Lobos? And no, I really felt that you potentially saw a breakaway there. You know, for the Lobos, a little over 12 minutes remaining. One thing you can say here in this area championship is you guys belong. I don't think that was a question to begin with, but you, know, you never know, ladies and gentlemen, what you to expect in a matchup until you fall in between the lines. And you know there are a lot of players eventually shrink some grow to the spotlight, to the limelight, especially here, the bright lights of Roma, Texas. This is one of those aspects where you have to say, I'm going to be that next man up. I'm, I want my jersey retired when I finish my career at this school. And so we'll go out of bounds. You know, long playoff run. To be here in the second round is no gimme, ladies and gentlemen. You know, to be here, to be able to continue on your dominance, continue on your excellence is tough to do, especially week in and week out. But these Lobos want to say, we want to continue on for another week. Some good moves here. We'll be able to pass the defense. Trapped. Your sideline. We'll just go back to a throw in here for White. Man, Ronaldo Lopez doing a heck of a job so far. They, they've been one of those teams to really be impressive on the back end, but will not be able to get anything there as Havoc towards the ball will be kicked out of bounds. That's going to give a throw in here for Laredo Martin. Another good shot here. Good. This is one of the best tries. And, you know, you're running out of time now, Laredo Martin, here in this first half. You see yourself right now potentially going into halftime down a goal. The way that things have been going for you, you have to take these opportunities with a grain of salt. And a good through pass there will just be picked up. You see the goal just coming out way far off the goal line there. Just I see if we continue trying to help out his defense, but it's where Brownsville Lopez, they can push you thin. Looking for the cross, won't be able to get going. Yeah, good idea, just you know, lack a little bit of power. One he's just gonna have to try to reset himself for, but I think mean, you're not too worried about nonetheless, but for Brownsville Lopez, 
the water break is going to be extra crisp there, half. But you have to remember, you have to continue doing your job. You know, game's not done. And, you know, for a lot of teams, now that you have the lead, how you continue holding on to this lead, it's not going to be an easy task for you to be able to just come in. And Laredo Marion is going to be one of those aspects where you see how the, the mid-game adjustments really fall onto this head coach. He's going to be the one of the player, uh, one of the pivotal people outside the players that to really watch out for. We're now into single digits here on the score clock. We will see a quick subs coming in. We see Lorenzo Nevarez and Jesus Hernandez falling their way back onto the pitch here. And we're talking about a goal, a late, a late goal here for any team would really just drive that fire, especially if it's Laredo Marin. You find a way to tie it up. The closing minutes gives you hope into that second half, but that's where you have to live in reality, not where you hope you be. Laredo Marin trying to find the extra man, but no one there. So Mommy to miscommunication will have it stolen. Yeah, that's you, you can't have that here. I uh, initially thought it was a good pass due to all the space, but realized no one was there. You have to be less careless with the ball there. You have to find ways to not continue allowing Bronzo Lopez to do what they're doing. That's just keeping the ball within themselves. Just keep, keep away. You know, they continue dribbling their way down this field, getting themselves to position where you're going now is having to make a blockbuster save. But with eight and a half minutes remaining, you don't have much time to really dilly-dally. Lopez trying it off their side. Potential counterattack just will kick out of bounds. It will just be a throw in. This is where, if you're Brownsville, you're just trying to take time now. No need to really push the envelope. Allow yourself to go to halftime, feeling confident. All gonna be up to this coaching staff. Really try to change things up. The 2-3-3 three, three was what we saw here. This one won't be able to go there. I believe it actually is a two three four one. Three two three five. For for Laredo, this is we we don't know the coach all too well, and that's one aspect about seeing teams for the first time is seeing how they like to operate. You know, so many methodical coaches really leading teams to victory, and the same can be said here for this team in red for Laredo Martin. They're trying to get themselves cooking. This one will keep possession. They'll struggle at the ball. We'll throw him in a bad side. The missed opportunity there. Yeah, just outran the ball there. Seems to actually try to get the ball on his back foot. Decided to keep going up. This one will just be kept in. This one will just be rolled out. That's what I want to see for Raider Martin. They're willing just to continue on with possession. Not put yourself in those spots. That ball on your side. This one. Well, that's not clock. That one's going to be the first yellow of the evening. Yeah, a bit aggressive. No, unfortunately, I don't think it was malicious. I believe we will see a, a change here. They do not want to get to a point where they go down a man. It will be the boys in white taking hold of this one. Martin have to continue holding down the fort here you've played perfect all but those first six minutes as this will go out of bounds
here, here. We'll just go for another throw. There's another throw in here. Gradle Martin. Just haven't really been able to get comfortable. And it's starting to really show, especially how difficult it's been for them to continue passing by the defensive skills of these players for Brownsville Lopez. It's a good pa back pass there. We'll try to set up an opportunity. Good move. Trying to find a teammate. We'll be able to give it to the outside. And a big shot on. Had some legs, but couldn't have enough for some walking room. That one will go out of bounds. We'll stay a Lobo ball. Yeah, so we'll Brownsville up his ball. And For this team in white right now, you have to really praise the way these players have continued playing with such urgency. And with 80 minutes allocated, two has 40. It's so tough. Continue staying in that locked in focus moment where nothing around you really seems to relate. And you can tell it's kind of happening here for Brownsville Lopez. It's, they're playing some good soccer out here tonight, find ways to continue putting their game plan in full effect. And more importantly, really just continue showcasing their solid skill that they have. The good through pass, we'll just push right back. It'll go out of bounds. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is not all the action. We still have another half soccer to go. We will go to a quick commercial break. The big shot there. Almost find a way home. I could have made this game back to equal, back to level. Would have changed the entire dynamic of things. And now they're trying to redo that type of magic. Everyone yelling for a clear there will be kicked away as whistles will be called in. Clock will continue to run here. Ronaldo Lopez. In the last couple of minutes here in the first half. Trying to hold this lead as tightly as possible. Brownsville Mar Laredo Martin almost had the cross there. Got taken away. The good slide tackle will pop that ball loose, but will never leave. We'll just stay a white ball. That yeah, good job there. Just continue taking a hold. And now for Laredo. Two minutes, 40 seconds remaining. This is where your chance is to really step up. This one will be pushed on towards mid. Will be Roundville Lopez holding on to possession. And you see him right now. This is where these players have to really dig on D for the stamina. You're seeing some players starting to feel it a bit. That's, it's all well and dandy, but to be able to control when things are going bad. At least when you're getting tired, continue to be on the consistent pace. That's one thing we continue to witness so far from this team. But so we're around for a little Lopez. Need to just try to seal the deal here for this first half. Yeah, especially under two minutes to go now. Trying to not allow yourself to have any late mid dramatics. As this game really moves along. But a long clear here. We'll keep this one low. And the midfield presence for Brownsville will continue to really showcase itself. And the long clear. This defense is not as tired of being on their back heels. They want to allow for some pressure. Finally put on the Brownsville side. And that's the one thing Brownsville's doing a heck of a job here. This one will be picked up by the goalie. One of the best opportunities we've seen so far. Getting taken away quick. Yeah, it's one that you can't allow for them to just harbor their emotions on and motivation on, something that they can look back as positives. You have to continue keeping this team at bay. Brownsville Lopez trying to pass this one, find the extra man. As the final 60 seconds here in the first half, 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, we will go to a quick intermission screen, but don't go anywhere. Go grab a drink. Go grab a snack. Just don't click that X button. Have some more Brownsville ISD athletics on the way. My name is Eric Alexander. Alex Cantu on the camera. And, you know, this is kind of a game where for Brownsville in this area championship, you're proving a lot to yourself. You're proving a lot to the city. Everyone had a lot of high hopes for you. Right now, representing your entire city there. And, you know, Brownsville in a whole has seen so much good nature from each one of their athletic teams. This one will just go out of bounds. And it's just like every school having you know, their preference. As we've seen teams kind of just take that next step, take that next jump. As final couple seconds remaining here for the first half. That's going to end things. As we're going to go to a quick break here. As Laredo Martin looked good, looked dominant, but still looking for that first goal. But it's the boys in the white here for the Brownsville Lobos who are howling at the moon trying to finish this game off. But... We will see the mid-game adjustments by both these squads. A lot of action, a lot of questions. But we will be right back.
Welcome back to the action, ladies and gentlemen, here for the second half of this area playoffs. My name is Eric Alexander, Alice Cantu on the camera. And, you know, we've been having such a great day commentating this game so far. And it's been one where you've seen a lot of star come players come out, but the one man that has been able to do it so far has been number 10 here for Brownsville Lopez. And Diego Guerra had that earlier goal from outside the box. Now, in this next 40 minutes, going to see if he can redo that type of action. And, you know, he almost came off the game, had a potential injury, but was able to get subbed right back in. And a little update. We're going to talk to some of the fans. It is number 10 here for Diego Guerra. That zero has a strike through the middle. Looks like an eight. So it confused us all up here in the booth as we were trying to get that going. But... One thing that's going to get going is the action here. You know, this is one where, you know, we, we saw how Brownsville Lopez kind of started things off. They, they have been keeping this team on their back heels throughout this entire match so far. And now it's going to be up to them to really get things on the up and up. But, ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's going to be one where we're talking about the mid-game adjustments here for Laredo Marin, how this team's going to have to come in here and try to put on a big effect for themselves. And you have to change the game plan. You know, you saw yourself just get outpaced back in that first half to a point where, you know, it, it really felt that this team here for Brownsville just – Continue to be the dominant figure, and, and there wasn't really once. Maybe it, actually, there was. There, there was about one or two times where he saw this team kind of find their way into some big moments. But you know, it, it's been one aspect, one game where Luis Guerra saw himself get that first goal in the first six minutes, and from the way things have really look from here on out, the stoppage, the, the, the way that Laredo Martin has been able to slow the pace down has been immense to see. And yes, they've been, they've been in the back territory to a point where you didn't feel that these back defenders would have been able to stop some of these big shots. And there was a point where we did see an open net. The goalie did come out of the net and almost got hurt there. But, you know, Laredo Martin has come out of some big scares. Now need to come out with a big win here. 30 and a half minutes remaining here in the second half. And this is where a second goal can be all the difference. And a breakaway will be stopped. That was a monster attack. Just unable to go. I believe that was Jonathan Gomez. And that's where you have to tell him, hey, just good run there. Good strike. But you know he wants that one back. And that's one of those opportunities where you see him still kind of frustrated here on the pitch. And you know, right now where these young athletes have to continue remembering. And a little update, that is number 11, Ramon Zuniga. And such a young team, junior here. That's one of those shots that you can get a lot more experience from as this game keeps going. And you no, know, for Brownsville, this is, this is a half where you don't try to have to overexert yourself. Let your midfield work. Allow for yourself to continue doing what you did back in the back of that back half of half number one. And Dean's starting to get a little chippy here onto the pitch. Two players having to be broken up. Let's see what eventually happens here. And it looks like we will have a yellow card for both these players. And that's that's unfortunate. Uh, he's still gonna be in this one. I, I, I don't believe that's his second. We'll have someone come in. And that was number four, Pedro Gomez, the singer here. You know, for these singers, we always talk about it. These playoffs, they mean different. You know, this is kind of some of the last games you have playing in those home, in those white kits for yourself. Or you know, this is where you really cherish the moments you've been able to really come out here and perform. And you know, I, I don't believe he's done for the day. We did see a yellow get put on earlier for somebody here for Brownsville Lopez, but this 
still some discussion. We'll, we'll see what's happening. You see just a little back and forth being here. I think there's a little communication between the head coach and the head referee. You know, we, we've seen some great soccer here tonight. You know, the one thing is these refs have been consistent. They've done a good job of really letting these boys play, but also keeping the integrity of the game. And you know, when you have a playoff game like this, everyone's emotions are running high. A little update, ladies and gentlemen. 37 minutes remaining. They did stop the official clock, so we'll have that updated as soon as possible. As this one will be taken away. The counterattack coming in here for Brownsville Lopez. Won't be able to go much. As this one will be pushed out near the corner. Will just be a throw in. And out for Brownsville Lopez. You're back in here. Striking position. Be centered out, trying to see if he gets the header, but whistles will be blown. Interesting. I don't I wonder what happened here. I believe just telling him to play on. As this one will be thrown in here for Laredo Martin. You know, both these two teams on the different ends of Texas meeting here tonight in this area playoffs. Really shows you how well regarded you have to be. A little back pass there to the goalie. We'll just go for a long clear. We'll be a throw in for Laredo Martin. That's going to be the second goal of the evening. The man, the miss, the legend. In number 10, Diego Guerra puts his second goal on here tonight. Yeah, what a job here by Guerra. Bottom left corner. Did a, a great job there. And now everyone can have smiles here for this Brownsville Lopez team. Get it up. You know, they're so lucky he came back in this game. We saw early on, got roughed up a little bit towards that, I believe it was right shin area. And, you know, he asked himself to come out. And, you know, as painful as it is, may have just got some ice. May taking some time on, just said, hey, I'm a ball player, I'm a baller, and I'm going to keep playing. Soccer's my life. No one's going to take me out of this game. It's, you know, Luis get it. And Diego Guerra, a sophomore here for the Low Bulls. So, you know, still a lot of time left in this program. And this one will just go out of bounds. It will be a throw in here for Laredo Martin. Yeah, and Laredo Martin, you don't have much time now, Lollygag. You're down two goals. That could have been the, the deal sealer here for Brownsville. Of course, one more. You could potentially start saying to you on next season. And no matter what, I, I know, even if we, that happens, you know, win or lose, the fact that you're able to get here to the area championship, you have a lot to be proud of. This, this team already having a bye championship, both these two teams having that, as whistles will be blown in. And the head referee having some quick talks here. Brownsville Lopez won't be able to get possession. Yeah, quick little touch. Actually, will steal himself. Has a huge potential. Able to pass by two men. Oh, and he had the pass. Just couldn't really get the footing. Potentially had goal number three. But another great look here for Brownsville Lopez. It'll be Laredo Martin. Pass behind him. Won't be able to connect. It's under 34 minutes. The clock are all catched up here. You know, you know, we see this clock and only six minutes coming off the board. And it, it feels like an eternity. It feels like these boys have been playing forever, especially in the second half. And knowing how much time still remains here really has to give hope for this Brownsville squad. I'm sorry, for, Laredo, for this Laredo squad. And, you know, one goal at a time. I do feel you have to get this next goal between that 25-minute mark to really give you optimal really time to come back in this game for that second goal. And, you know, scoring one was already tough, ladies and gentlemen. We said it was going to be a 2-1 victory. It could still be that. 
you know, and I love it when when these when these players eventually make me look smart up here. But you know, they're not they're not settled with just two. But for Brownsville Lopez to look for that third one, this one will just go out of bounds. Brownsville Lopez. Whistles will be blown in. Ooh, and you know, hopefully everyone's okay. No, you know, none of that was intentional. We, we, we really saw it there to where he just he jumped up. But unfortunately, just did not want to get hurt inside and spin his body and just fell right over him. Thankfully, nobody hurt here. You see some tempers flaring right now, and you know, it's understandable. It, 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 this team's down right now. And, you know, we're, we're players have a lot of passion for the game, a lot of pride in, in their hard work that they've done. It's 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 one of those where you can't fault some of these players, but at the same time, you have to make sure that you stay in between the sportsmanship, especially here in these varsity sports. This one control near the sideline will just go out of bounds. And you see whistle blown once again. And the one thing that's just doing at least is just continuing to allow time to be taken off the clock and you know, after we saw back in that first half there will be no added time once that buzzer rings we will end it there so we'll also have to see if eventually any forward attack keeps things forward here uh, keep things going but you no know, Laredo Martin can't allow for this game to continue being stopped at the pace of play that it is Good touch there. Two players fighting for the ball. This one will go out of bounds again. We'll just be another throw in. Brownsville Lopez will lose possession. And this is where Loretta Martin, you have to start using the, the, the width of the field. You see that left wing just open on his side. You have to find a way to get that crossover there. And, you know, that's where you have to really start looking at all the skills that you have in your toolbox. And, Try going through him. It's crunch time now. That's where you have to pull out all the tricks inside the bag. And the slide tackle here will be all ball. Yeah, that was, that was a tough looking one, but great technique, great focus, and good execution overall. It's going to allow for Ronaldo Lopez, though, to take another throw in. Yeah, we'll see what they elect here. Especially. The dominance performance that they've been really putting on. This one will be picked up. Trying to find an open man, but a long clear will just give it right back towards midfield. As Laredo Martin need to find a way to get himself out of danger. And I just feel like the danger just continues to come in and come in. And right now for them, they just need to find ways. Try to punch this defense, which they haven't done too much. Of the diving stop there, potentially has a player on the ground. Thankfully, no one is hurt. And that was, yeah, you saw the, the goalie. He he put his body on the line. And he, seemed, I mean, he may have hit his head. He seemed going to it a bit, but you know, hopefully he's okay. That was one where he knew a little chip shot potentially gets past him, and he put everything he had on the line there. And that's kind of what you get here in the area playoffs as these two teams. Trying to find a way to that third round. And potentially, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you continue hearing us here. My name's Eric Alexander. Alex Kent, too, on the camera. And, you know, we've been covering a lot of Brownsville sports over the, the year. And the one thing we've really seen from this city as a whole is that they're dominant, they're competitors, and they're winners. And it, it just goes for all the schools involved. You know, Brownsville Lopez doing their thing here in soccer. Same thing for Brownsville Porter. But looking at the football, Brownsville Vets, what they were able to do. The baseball teams in that city all seem to have high hopes for their playoffs, well, especially the softball team. So, you know, this is, this is these, these are positions where I think both these two teams coming from cities, especially Laredo, you know, it's another powerhouse school. We always say it, the road to the playoffs has to go through Laredo, and that's for any sport. And Laredo Martin not making it easy here for Brownsville Lopez whatsoever, but, you know, that's just kind of where Brownsville Lopez has – just continue to have good looks. And, you know, both the goals that we've seen coming in from Guerra, 
has been the star athlete here tonight. And, you know, looking at the player of the game, he potentially is going to walk away with that with two goals. It only seems fitting, but, you know, still a lot of time till we get to that point. And Soredo Martin with 28 minutes remaining. Need to find some positivity and what looks like a grim future. And, you know, this is where this team, they have to continue fighting. And you see them. These are, both these teams have such, such great athletes that, you know, that to be here, ladies and gentlemen, it's not easy. But Brownsville Lopez has really made a name for themselves all over the state of Texas. I don't say the Rio Grande Valley, but it's been the entire state that's put on notice from the squad. And we've seen so many teams kind of make it into that state playoff championship. And this team trying to make their way into there, and they have a heck of a chance. And, you know, we're looking at who they've been able to beat. One team that looked unstoppable all year long was Pioneer, Sherryland Pioneer, and this team was able to beat them 4-1 to one throughout the season. And that, that really shows you where the headspace is for this team. And, you know, this is one of those aspects where Brownsville Lopez have all the eyes on them, and they're showing up here tonight. And we said it. How are they going to be able to come in? How are the Stars going to adjust to the bright lights of an area playoff game? And, you know, they have said, we're here for it. We're, we're built for the moment. The good takeaway there. Some cheeky passing. The throw in will just come in for Laredo Martin. They're trying to see if they can get themselves down the field. There's another throw in here for the boys in red. Yeah, you see them. They are hustling now. They, they know that this, this game is now at the tail end, especially with 26 minutes left. Getting close to halftime here in the second half of action. He and I think we potentially have a some injury there. Yeah, I think he hyperextended himself, trying to stay off of the ball, and that, we'll see if he continues on. And the big run here towards the back end. Trying to find an extra pass, will get it. And that one. Goal! Ramon. Chacho Zuniga, the junior striker, puts one in behind the net here. Yeah, great job. 26 14 remaining. And that is how you want to put yourself in a dominant fashion. Yeah, great job. And, you know, we, we see this team right now just taking this in, a little water break for everyone. I think a lot of time coming right back, but. I believe it was an injury. Yeah, we saw things kind of get cheeky onto the field and you know, a little aggression kind of start happening, like maybe because of the injury. And well, that's kind of where our eyes were set. And when we looked up, we saw the run through, but trying to see if we can get a number here. I believe that is number seven, Jonathan Gomez. And as Gomez gonna walk off the field but with this team leading, yeah, that, that, when your team's leading and you lead the pitch, it, it's one of those opportunities. And actually, it is number two. Uh, it might be number seven. You know, some of these jerseys, man. They've been tricking us here. We already need glasses. It's a cool font they've been using for us off. But I believe that is Gomez number seven. We'll try to see if we get an update if anything changes there. You know, and all smiles, you're, you're seeing it. And th this city should feel it, but the parents are ready to get on their feet and start cheering these team on. And it's gonna be a long drive back to Brownsville, but it's gonna be one where a lot of smiles on the faces of the players. But 26 minutes remaining here. Still time. It's not over, ladies and gentlemen, until that last whistle will blow. This is where this team has to have the mentality here for Laredo Martin that anything can happen here. You can't allow yourself just to relax on your morals if you're Brownsville Lopez. Good touch there. We'll find a man near center field. Yeah, midfield there. and A good through pass. Won't be able to get picked up. Goalie coming out of goal the entire way to stop that one. Yeah, he didn't want that 1v1 opportunity again. And a good touch. We'll have this one out of bounds. We'll be a throw in here. Brownsville Lopez. Trying to fight their way on. And 
this is kind of where the low balls in a game where you start off quickly you're ending the exact same way you wanted to and that's dominantly and well, Randall Martin yeah, just we're not able to really get things going and it was just the speed here by Brownsville Lopez and you know, a really good squad here for the boys in white you're gonna be a, a big player throughout the rest of this playoffs and they're gonna see themselves go on to the next round and you know it's 24 minutes and like, I hate talking about certain teams when there's still time on the on the board because it's just it kind of discredits the opposition here for Laredo Martin but it's just the way that Brownsville Lopez at all parts of this game never really felt you know, flummox it, it was you saw this team kind of take each opportunity in stride. And you know, it's not like Laredo Martin didn't have their chances. He had an open net back in that first half. Just couldn't find a way to connect. And you know, that was kind of one of their biggest ones throughout this game. As this one will be kept. But Brownsville Lopez will find a way through. Is that one not going to be a card? Yeah, I think they're just going to give him the benefit of the doubt that he was playing ball. Not the trip there. But oh, whew, if he got through. The defense were put into a bad position, and you know, for Brownsville Lopez, the one thing you have to say was a great team effort, but whistles blown won't be able to get that one. Oh, that's a tough one. I, I believe that was Chancho Zuningan. That would have been his second goal of the evening. Two players could have found themselves a two goal. Yeah, uh, you can't be too mad about that. You know, two goals for the evening, and especially here on your own channel, you're from the Brownsville YouTube channel. You have to like the way things have just been going. It's a stoppage in time. The time is up. The 23-23 is on the clock. As the action is set to return. And Laredo Martin. Coming to closing time. Trying to find a way. Get creative here in the corner. But a good touch there. We'll poke that ball loose. We'll stay a Laredo Martin ball. Yeah, great job here by Laredo Martin. At least on this aspect, using the defender himself. And you know, we'll keep possession here. But now you have to do something with this possession. Decided to change the person who throws this in. Going for a long throw and long cross won't be able to go. And you saw it. Brownsville Lopez, the height, just was able to beat him there. First touch were by Laredo Martin. But they able to come in and ricochet that ball right back. This is kind of where we felt Brownsville Lopez kind of had the advantage, especially on some of these crosses. This one will be pushed out of bounds. Oh, a little extracurriculars there on the sideline. That's where you have to be careful. Uh, and so we don't highlight what happened. We won't say what the situation was. But yeah, if you're here in the crowd, it, it was clear as daylight. You know, just like we're saying, frustration coming in. Uh, especially when you're down like this and you know, anything kind of will really set you ablaze. And uh, Brownsville Lopez. Continue to play cheeky ball game here tonight. It's, it's one where they've been playing great. They've been playing in between the lines. They've been a heck of a job just kind of letting their skill kind of talk for themselves. But you know, both can be said for both teams. But at the same day, everyone's human out here. So young athletes. You have to remember that too, ladies and gentlemen. 15, 16, 17, 18 year olds with so much room to develop and grow. It, it, it shows you the highlights of where the RGB soccer community is going, especially on how well we've been able to do in the past. This, this is the future here. The, the, these players want to continue trying to show they're worth their salt. As they certainly, as they certainly do. Yeah, this is kind of where, ooh, a big sliding tackle put on. Yeah, that was, that was the one where it even got us here. Just like we try our best not to react to some of these these challenges, but that was one where if I was if I was there, I would not I would be up. I would still be on the down. Be on the turf saying, Coach, I need some water. I don't think I can do this anymore. It's a playoff game. This is where all your resolve, all your adrenaline's running. You practice all year for this moment. Brownsville Lopez again doing a heck of a job. 
of taking away possession when things start to get dangerous. As coming in halftime, 20 minutes remaining here in the second half of play as Brownsville Lopez. The Lobos are looking up to the sky. Just want to continue howling to them. This one might get pushed on through, but the defense will get a touch. Does that one have whistle call? Yeah, another stoppage here. Fortunately, we didn't see really what happened, but right now for Laredo Martin. Trying to finish this game. Eventually, with one goal. You know, no matter what happened, you know, we, we were right about one thing. We said there were going to be a 2 1 game. That's a total of three goals, and we see three goals on the board. We just distributed it wrong. That's all it is, gentlemen. So, you know, at the end of the day, we're still right. We still give our, our, our little golden star, but, you know, 19 and a half minutes to potentially get that going. Is this one. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah, it looks like it'd be a yellow. A yellow card will be pushed out. As we see the senior coming right back onto the pitch. And number nine, Jesus Hernandez. The senior and have his clock career continue to be extended off this amazing team that he's on. You know, this is a great team. He's been a great part of it. Came in for Guerra back in the first half and made a big difference when Guerra was able to come back in, stopped off the field, but he's done his job here tonight. And that's what you need. What we're talking about when you look at your seniors to really push this team forward and not allow them to be shaken up. He has been one of the biggest reasons for that. 19 minutes and 14 seconds to go. Feels like a long time, or sounds like a long time, but well, you know, it, it goes by quicker than it really seems. This game is really starting to flow by. As good touch here, we'll keep this towards mid. And one thing that's also been troubling is due to the high wind, any long shot that we see and get clear continue to just get stuck right in the air and fall shorter than the trajectory they've been hoping for but a big chance into the side trying to find a man open we'll be able to get him toward midfield and now this is where you're starting to break through trying to see yourself kind of come in as that shot attempt will just go right out of bounds and that's where you're hoping to get one extra pass. You saw the man in front of him, but really had nowhere to go. And now it will be Brownsville Lobos. Now we'll move, stay out of bounds via throw. And this is where for Brownsville Lopez, you kind of just, you're not trying to really push the envelope here. Allow for yourself just to wait on time. You're up by three goals. The longer this goes, desperate you may see Laredo Martin getting in terms of the attack series where the counter attacks may start coming at an easier pace here for the boys in white we're trying to continue staying on to the clean victory good touch we'll just be caught there by the goalie we'll just go for a kick and this is kind of where Laredo Martin trying to find at least one goal yeah, no, and one would at least just give you that, that little peace of mind that you got the goose egg off the board. And, you know, we, we never talk about having console, consolation prizes. This one will just be a quick stoppage. This is going to be just a kick in. Yeah, there's a little shove there. Nothing too major. You see the line judge just talking over to the player right now. Yeah, just put him in a position where he needs to be, and this will just go for a kick. And see if the wall may be able to jump tall enough where Rado Martinson go for kick off the side. This one trying to go for the cross, won't be able to get it. And they will continue on the pressure, but it will be the boys in white able to clear all the danger out of sight. And that's just been where they've been able to do. 
come in, find ways to continue being successful. And now for the Lobos. Trying to sing Kumbaya. So I have to wait a little longer. The good shot on net will be stopped there by the goalie. And a good shot. It's a good pressure shot, but just not enough to confuse the goalkeeper. And you know, for the goalkeeper, it's been a wall here tonight. Hasn't been tested too much, but when he has done a great job of pulling down the bearings and another shot will just go wide. It has to go out of bounds. It has to go out of bounds. And it's just going to go for a goal kick here. And maybe Macy just try to boot this one out once again. Try to just see if he can just loft this over everybody. But the boys in white still trying to see who they play next week. And potentially, like we said, we potentially will be covering that action as, you know, for Brownsville Lopez. All you can ask is, what more do you have to tank? Once you came in, you started off hot, especially in the area championship where you seem to have been given good opportunities to succeed at every point. And you took advantage of those opportunities. You know, it, it's just it's just tough to witness right now, especially how things have kind of just uh, transpired so far. And I, I really feel Laredo Martin. It's gonna be a game where a lot of the young classmen are gonna be looking on to this as a game to remember to continue feeling how it is to be in these moments. And you know, this is where those lower classmen. This is the experience that you can't buy. And to have this type of adrenaline, this type of moment, it, re it really shows you where this team's going to be. So potentially see it for this matchup again next year, ladies and gentlemen. Or potentially you might see it later in the rounds, depending on where these two teams place. But nonetheless, nothing here for Laredo Martin to feel sad about. Yes, it's, it's one where you're looking for a big three, but... You know, you, play, you played a tough team. and you know, Brownsville Lopez is not a squad that you can potentially look at, try to scoff over. This squad was one of the jewels in the soccer community throughout the year. And they're looking to try to keep on that shining element. Good touch. We'll just be caught there by the goalie. That's now all formalities coming in for the final 13 and a half minutes. You know, for seeing these two teams for the first time, one thing that really surprised me was just the ability for Brownsville Lopez just to play their brand of soccer and, and so and so quickly too. And you know, this team being able to get great passes, they use their speed for advantage. One thing that really surprised me was the ball skills have done a great job being elusive, getting past defenders shaking people off and creating space for yourself. And that's the one part that we always look for, creating space. Not just being in open space, but can you make it for yourself? And, you know, Brownsville Lopez, the great ball skill that they have, they've been able to do that. And all has been due to the extra pass that they've been able to also accomplish. As this one, a hustle towards the sideline will be picked up here by the boys in white. The through pass will be picked up by Laredo Martin. And the boys in red continue trying to run down the full head of steam. Yeah, they, they're they're trucking forward. They're, they're saying, hey, that's why we train. That's why we're here. I'm going to allow for at least our seniors to play some gritty, hard-nosed soccer towards the back end of this game. And this will you potentially see maybe some miracles happen. You, know, you never know what happens, especially on these Thursday night lights coming into these playoff games. Right before Good Friday, a miracle may happen. But for the boys from Brownsville, trying to keep that all on fantasy land. It's a good takeaway there. We'll be able to find a man midfield. A huge clear. And I put it right back onto the half. Oh, the Rayo Martin. This is kind of where these are looking for offense. They're not lolling in. They're trying to take their chances as quick as possible. They're running out of time now. We're talking about a doomsday clock. Now it's click and ticking. And all you can see are the numbers dwindling down. As this one won't be called. Yeah, I think they were both kind of fighting for the ball. Kind of. Ball took a weird bounce to a point where kind of was nobody's fault there. And you know, that's kind of where Laredo Martin, they're slightly petitioning for possession there, won't be able to get it. Win. Oh, this is kind of a game where I feel a couple people really made a name for themselves. Diego Guerra, 
of course, with two goals himself. And that was one where, no, we were kind of joking in the car. I think we're going to have a hat trick. It won't be close to it. We, we felt it was going to be a close game. We all felt it was going to be a one game, a one goal difference. But that's why we're up here in the booth and these players are on the pitch. And they can show you that predictions don't mean anything when you line up on the field. And Riddle Martin trying to put one more onto the board. Can't get it. Is this one with the best chance they've had as a whistle will be blown. And we're talking about the men that have made a lot of impact. And like we said, Diego Guerra, Ramon Chancho Zuniga with the goal himself as you know, Jonathan Gomez had his name called throughout this majority of this game. And you no, know, it, it, it all due to the great willingness to continue to work. And you know, I, I'm, I'm loving what we see for this program going forward. You know, we saw Michael Benita do some good work, did get subbed out. So his day kind of ended early. And, you know, it's just one where you're saving your legs for next week. And you know, this team, one thing that you can say is you have one more one more game. And that's how you have to just take these games. It's one game at a time. Don't allow yourself to exert too much energy in the back half of this game to potentially get things going negatively, but we're now in single digits now here in Roma, Texas for this area championship as Brownsville Lopez off a of 3 current scoreline trying to make this one permanent and put it into the history books. You know, they're trying to make round three. Not a lot of teams can do this. It's so tough to even get to this point here in the area championship. And you know, this is where this team felt that they came in dominant. I feel that they can be one of the the top eight. You know, if they talk if you talk to them, they're saying there is no top eight, there's just top me. This one will go over the goalpost. It'll just be a kick here. We also give it up here for Gladiator Stadium, Gladiator Arena. Actually, Let's make sure we we say that correctly. As you know, they've been great, great hospitality here. We, we've been able to really get the best. And you know, big shout out to Brownsville for allowing us to come out. We're able to call these games, and you know, we always get privileged. We've been calling a lot of their games throughout the year, and we always continue saying thank you for allowing us to be here. It's a privilege. It really is. Being able to see this type of level of soccer really shows you how well the Rio Grande Valley has been developing. And, you know, from the past, always being that, oh, it's a Valley school. Now it's it's one of those aspects like, oh, it's a Valley school. You, you have to be careful now. These boys, they come to play. That, that, that can be at any sport at this point. Now this one will just be picked up by the goalie. The quick shot away. I'm trying to mount some offense. Yeah, this is a good little poke through. You're seeing a run starting to really develop here for Laredo. Trying to look for an extra pass. Won't be able to get anything going. We'll run that one out of bounds. And Laredo Martin. One thing that you can take away from this game that they have been fighting throughout the entirety of it. You know, a lot of teams, they may put their head down, like we said. They may stop playing. They may start jogging. But no, not this. Not, not the Laredo Martin. That's the one thing that you have to be giving them the props to and give them their roses. Is you know, a really well coached team. You know, great players, great head on their shoulders. And yes, we saw some extracurriculars here tonight, but I don't think that really shows who these team, these players are. You, you really have to look at the context of what's happening, how this game has been going. And, you know, this team is not used to being in positions like this. So when you match up against a buzzsaw that is Brownsville Lopez, it, it's common for frustration to kind of poke and rear its head in the picture. But for, Laredo Lop for Brownsville Lopez, you came in, you did your job. You took the long road to get here. I believe two and a half, three hours bus ride. So, you know, it wasn't a quick one. This is, this is one where, you know, Brownsville, we always talk about how teams are when they get off the bus. Sometimes when you have long road trips like that, you potentially start 
getting to a point where you, know, you may start to just get a little lazy, but it, it wasn't to this point. They, they came out in the first six minutes. They saw themselves get a first goal. As a quick stoppage in time here, 6.23 remaining. Well, we potentially have the trainers come out. And unfortunately here for Laredo Martin, you're kind of just looking at yourself. Try to get out of here healthy. And, you know, it, it's, it's all high fives, all smiles right now for everyone on the pitch. And that, that's the one thing that we've been great to see. You know, it, when the clock's running, when things are at its highest intentions, high-level competitive athletes who do not want to lose really start showing their character. And I, I think both these teams can – at least say the character is high, well coached. This is, this is a game to remember, I think, for, for everyone involved. And you know, hopefully, everyone's okay. We'll be walked off the field here. Hopefully, a cart doesn't have to get involved. Yeah, and he, he's having that ankle stiff. May have just had a sprain there. Not trying to move it too much. Oh, and I believe he also tore his cleat. Yeah, that's okay. So that that means a lot. It means the cleat got stuck in a piece of turf. Potentially rolled it. You see him putting a little bit more pressure on it here, and you know, for my unmedical opinion, I'm just happy he's still walking around a bit. But you know, this is one where you just have to elevate. Yeah, and I think he may have also just, they're, they're just stretching him out. May have just grabbed him a cramp as well. I, th I think what happened is he cramping potentially because I'm seeing the way they're stretching him out. Kind of loose to that. But back to the action here. Laredo Martin trying to get one goal at the end. Almost finding a way through here. And 6.08 remaining. Final minutes here for closing time in Roma, Texas, home of the Gladiators. But today... Potentially being home with the Brownsville Lobos. They're going to get themselves an on-the-road victory. Uh, what that final score will be, that will come in the next six minutes. Uh, Radel Martin trying to at least put a one to damper the score line. And, you know, especially when you're trying to just have some positivity towards the back end. One goal can do it. This one will just be a throw-in. And ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow... We have some more action coming in. Look at that schedule. We will be there as well in McAllen at that stadium. Beautiful, beautiful stadium too. Brand new press box. So that's kind of something we're, we're a bit excited to see there. But tomorrow will be Laredo Nixon versus Brownsville Vets. Another 5A boys soccer area playoff game. You know, both these two teams are 5A. And what are the odds? And we potentially see two Brownsville teams play against each other next week. And that's more than likely to be at Sam Stadium. Unless they elect for a neutral territory. And then they could see themselves right back in McAllen. But we'll see who or where they decide to go there. As fans starting to get on their feet here. Let's try to continue possession. Man, this is a good job here. This is one of the best that we've seen here tonight. Is Laredo Martin. They have taken some time. But now they have nothing but four and a half minutes left. That's a bit unfortunate. They don't have much time. And for them, in a game where you came here with a lot of question marks, you knew you were coming in against a tough squad against Brownsville Lopez. And the reason both these two teams are in here is a good challenge there. We'll continue on the pressure, but whistles will be blown. Oh, 
Okay, this one will just go over the net. All right, whistles again called. Yeah, this is just keeping Real Mar in the game just for that much longer. And I'm just surprised we're seeing this many stoppages, just especially here. You know. Now it looks like we do have some changes. The starting lineup will jog off the field. Their job is done. And yeah, they're gonna get a well-deserved break. All high fives on the bench there for Brownsville. As this is a game where these boys are gonna remember. But they can't find a way to get too complacent in the words of the late great Kobe Bryant, jobs not finished. That's where they have to they have to come into it. They have to they have to understand that no one's gonna give them anything. You just made it that much harder going to that third round and you know, potentially seeing your sister school and Brownsville Vets there, seeing how that game kind of goes through with both these two teams having to play a Laredo school. And that's what we said. Through the playoffs is through Laredo. Usually in round two and three, it's when you start seeing those Laredo schools start popping up. Um, that shows you on the continuous and how well they are always able to continue on and making it through. And that's why we're talking about here for Laredo Martin. You're just following the footsteps of a great city. And you weren't able to get the victory here today, but two, two cities known for excellence stepping up here into Roma, Texas, a neutral territory. And one going home a victor. Now it will be Brownsville Lopez. This one will go over the net. And ladies and gentlemen, all the action continues on tomorrow. Brownsville Vets taking on Laredo Nixon. 7 p.m. Central will be played in McAllen, Texas, home of the McAllen Mackay Bulldogs. Well, we're talking about that stadium itself as well. So much history has been having games there played. Whew. Sir, it's, it's my dad on the school there. So I just, I just put you there, ladies and gentlemen. 26 years old. Father in his 50s, so. For at least 20 years. At least 26 years. I don't know, probably 40 years, 50 years. That, that, that school has had that stadium be the location of greatness, especially great games. And we're going to see another close one tomorrow. You no know, prediction for there. It's really tough to say. We had a lot of hype against Brownsville Porter. Now we have to go do some digging on Brownsville Vets. Guess you have to stay tuned tomorrow for that prediction on who we feel is going to take that one. But no, we are always trying to be biased around the Brownsville channel. We just say Brownsville Vets. This team, you know, their football team went four rounds deep. This team saying, hey, we want to go three and potentially get to four and try to tie them up. Show they're the ones that, not the only school that can go deep in the playoffs or only sport that is. But across here, corner kick here. May should be elected to keep possession. Uh, a little confusion. They don't know who's going to take it. The right or the lefty. It's a good touch. Trying to get one more. Almost finding a way home. I think a, a late second defender kind of got in the way there. But final 60 seconds as one final attack potentially coming in. Looking at the MVP, you have to give it up to Diego Guerra, number 10 here for Brownsville Lopez. I don't feel anyone else really learned it there. Yes, you can you can, you can bring up Chancho Zuniga. Two goals give you that much ever sweeter nectar. This one is going to be a very sweet victory for this team, and you know, it's going to be very fruitful for them. And you know, I, I really feel last 15 seconds, we see a stoppage in time. Just to see what happened. Well, we were talking about how small extracurriculars kind of fall into place, but now for Brownsville, just trying to finish this one off cleanly. As yes, there will be 11 seconds, four seconds were taken off the board already. Small petition here. As the countdown coming in here from the fans from Brownsville Lopez. 
As everybody on their feet, that's going to be a 3-0 victory going for the boys in white. Staying clean here in Roma, Texas. Moving on to the third round will be the Lobos howling to the moon. All sights will be looking forward. But a big congratulations finding their way to put on the type of game they did to not come easy, but they made it look easy. But Brownsville Martin, Laredo Martin, apologize. Do not put your head down. You guys played phenomenally. And you know, I, that's the one thing we have to say from someone who's been in their shoes, maybe not in soccer, but in other sports. It, it hurts, but this is why you play the game for these moments. And big shout out to all the parents for coming out here, supporting their kids, especially from the, the long way home. But ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you all again tomorrow as we will have Laredo Nixon versus the Brownsville Vets as the Chargers trying to punch their way to the third round. That will start at 7 p.m. Central. My name is Eric Alexander. Alice Cantu on the camera here for the Brownsville YouTube channel. We'll see you all again tomorrow for some more action. We love you, and we'll see you all again.